Hello, my name is Kelly Anton, HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC, and today I'm going to show you how to integrate the PDF view object into your Siemens HMI so that you can view and navigate PDF files during runtime you know, on your Siemens HMI. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to switch to my demo screen here, and then I'm going to need to locate the PDF view object within the toolbox, and then in the controls area, you will find the PDF view object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the PDF view object on the screen, and this is going to be the tool that gets used for displaying the actual uh, PDF files. Now, <clears throat> the first thing that you need to configure in the PDF view would be the media area. You can specify a predefined path, you know, for a, a predefined file name that you're going to display, or you can specify a string tag so that you can dynamically control which PDF file would be displayed in the viewer. What I'm going to do is uh, put in a predefined path, which is going to be a storage card sd slash hmi info dot pdf. And so the storage card sd is the path to the sd card slot on the Siemens HMI. This could be a USB stick path as well as a network drive, but I'm using the sd card and then displaying the file hmi info dot pdf. The next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to put some buttons on the screen that will allow me to navigate or control the uh, PDF view object during runtime. So the first thing I'll do is in my toolbox under elements, I am going to take a uh, button object and I'm going to draw that out onto the screen. What I will do is copy and paste it and we'll line that up here. Okay, and then I'm going to take uh, one more of these buttons here but I'm going to position it over on the far left-hand side. Okay. Make this just a little smaller, a little narrower here. Then what I'm going to do is copy and paste this button. We'll line this up. Okay. And this last one I'll just move over here a little bit. I guess I could use some alignment commands here but I'll select all these uh, buttons here and I'll evenly distribute them across the bottom. Okay, And I'll need one more button, so I'll just do a control V, paste that, and, and I'm going to use this up here in the upper left hand corner. What I'll do is I'll start configuring these uh, push buttons then for controlling the PDF file. So I'll start over here on the right hand side. Uh, the first one is going to be the first page. The next one is going to be for the previous page control. Then I will do a scroll up. The next one will be scroll down. Okay. And then I will do a next page. And I will do last page. Okay. On the far left-hand side, in the lower left-hand corner, I will do a button for doing a left scroll. I'll do a button for right scroll. Then I will do a uh, fit width. And I will do a fit height. And I will do zoom in. We'll do zoom out. And I will do zoom 100%, and so I'll just do zoom uh, 1 colon 1 there. I will also need a button up here that is going to be my go to page. And make that button just a little bit wider here. Okay. So now that I have all my buttons on the screen for navigation, I will also want to put in a an I.O. field, so I'm just going to drag this page number tag right out onto the screen. And then this would allow me to enter in a specific page number and then enter or press this button and go to a specific page. So I guess I'll start in the upper left hand corner here and I'll go to the events area. And then for a press event, what I will do is I will do a PDF and I'll go to PDF go to page. And then one of the parameters here is going to be the screen object. So this is going to be the actual PDF view. And then I've got the specific page number, or I can enter in a variable here, which I will say is going to be an HMI tag. 
and I'll just drag over the page number tag Oops. right over here so now that button you know will when I press it will take whatever numbers in this IO field and go to that specific page in the upper right hand corner I will configure the the first page button so that is going to be my PDF go to first page then I will do PDF, go to previous page, and then here I will do the PDF, scroll up. For this one, I will do PDF, scroll down. Then I have PDF, go to last, I'm sorry, uh, next page. And then I can do PDF, go to last page. So all of these buttons are configured on the side. On the far left hand side, I will do PDF, scroll left, and then I will do PDF, oops, PDF, scroll right. And this button here is going to be PDF fit with, and I'm taking advantage of the Telesense features, PDF, fit height, then I'll do the uh, PDF, and I believe it's called zoom in, PDF, zoom out, and finally I will do PDF Zoom original, which is the 100%. Okay, so now all of my buttons are have been configured. So what I will do is highlight my HMI, and I will start the simulation. This will bring up the runtime environment. Let's maximize that. When I go to my demo screen, you can see that PDF file shows up. So what I can do is go to PDF next page. Okay. I can go previous page, I can go to the first page. Uh, within an individual page, I can scroll up, scroll down. I can go to the last page of my document. You know, if I fit width or fit height, you know, I can also zoom in, you know, real detailed. And then I have the ability to zoom to the right, zoom to the left, etc. So I can also zoom out or go to 100%. Okay. If I want to go to a specific page, like maybe page 3, I can enter that in my I.O. field, press go to, page button, and it will take me to page 3. So this is a quick example of how you can use the PDF view object to display PDF files. If you have any questions, uh, please give us a call at 262-251-3000.